Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Scorpio. So, let's get to it. So, angels, what is the tea? So, the tea is somebody out here trying to glam you. You got a bitch out here that's trying to intrigue you with drama. So, this could be like, say like, you got a family member. Shit, this could be a cousin. This could even be a sister. This can even be a friend. So, this could be somebody that's coming around you. Say like you was beefing with somebody. Um, and it was like a whole big shit. And this person coming around bringing up some shit that happened like, uh, uh, like probably a year ago, two years ago. But they keep trying to like bring it up so that you could be intrigued in that drama. And it's all because you're being true to yourself. So you could be somebody that, you know, you could be like me. Like, you play zero games. You know, you might come off as grumpy or whatever like that. But, yeah, it is what it is. You're being true to yourself. And somebody could be trying to portray, like, you know, they love you. This don't even have to be a man. This could be a friend. Like, somebody is not... Showing you who they truly are. Like, somebody is really, like, a monster inside. Meanwhile, you are loving. And this is why it's a strange valentine. Because the love that you have for somebody ain't the same as the love they have for you. It's, like, strange. You know? And it's strange because if you love me, why are you keep trying to glamour me and intrigue me and drama? You get it? Like... Yeah, the love is strange. How you how you fuck with me and you keep trying to put me in drama? Yeah, it's time for spirit. So right now at this time, you could be meditating, you know, contemplating, you know, taking you some time to go within, little introspection. Yeah, somebody thought that they had a good idea, okay? They thought they researched the right shit. And what they research is... Some type of glamour, intrigue, drama shit. Yeah. This is somebody who was trying to, you know, invade you. Overstep your boundaries. You know, just basically bully you. This is somebody who thought that they could dominate you. Basically. Yeah. Seward, mermaid. See, this talks about, you know, somebody wanting you to doubt yourself. Somebody wanting you to, you know, believe what the fuck they want you to believe. Yeah. They thought that this was a wonderful idea. <laughs> they thought it was a wonderful idea. But it's time for you to have a tree. Yeah, so count your blessings, fool. Because somebody returned from your past, but it was only for some time. And it's because this bitch is strangely lonely, and they holding on way too tight to your fucking energy. But it's okay, because it's breaking down right now. And that's a motherfucking miracle. That somebody's going to be stuck and bored. Whoever this same bitch is that was trying to intrigue you in drama. It's like, the bitch look nice. It's like she dressed up and shit like that. And then, it's like you're going to see it. This bitch is going to be busted and disgusted. Yeah, look. It's all going to just be a sweet memory for these three bitches. So what goes up must come around. Mm -hmm. The three fates. Something is about to come back around. And it's because of some type of ancient wisdom that these three or these two little witch bitches try to do. Yeah, it's cleanup time. So basically what's going on is there could have been three. Okay. You could have been a part of this shit. I don't know. I don't really get that. I get like this could be like, you know, karma. You know, somebody doing some shit behind the scenes. Somebody doing this. Somebody doing that. And it's like, are you going to learn the lesson? Or are you going to keep being on the cycle? And it's like, something happened for its last time. And it's because you caught on. Yeah, like, you really caught on to what somebody was doing. It's like, I re like for real, it really says somebody was basically coming around you with this glamour and tree and drama. This card talks about, you know, somebody that is pretty. You know, they have the fancy parties, they invite you over, you know, they buy the drinks, you know, this the house you go to, you know, the family member house that everybody go to. This is the same bitch that's intrigued and motherfuckers in drama. This is the same bitch who thought she had a wonderful idea to like overstep your boundaries and they was trying to overstep your boundaries with some type of drama. Yeah, they thought this was a good idea. 
to have you doubt yourself, to have you feel like you was like not worth what you were worth. But like I said, what comes around goes back around. Because somebody was only trying to dominate you and overstep your boundaries because you was being true to yourself. You could be somebody that's very spiritual. Because I'm getting be true to yourself a time for spirit. So you could be somebody that's very, you know, an introvert type energy. You ain't got to be an introvert. But you are, you know, somebody that basically meditates. You know, go within to get the answers. Yeah, you are somebody who goes within to get the answers. Like I said, this could have been all to do with your ancient wisdom. I'm saying because you was being true to yourself, somebody tried to overstep your boundaries, but you had ancient wisdom. I'm saying that you had ancestors surrounding you. You had ancestors passing you shit down, giving you knowledge. Like I said, because you made time for spirit, you know, it's clean up time for these two little witches. Uh -huh. Because you was able to grind yourself, and if you haven't, go grind yourself. Because the natural world needs you talking about you going outside and grinding yourself, you know? But yeah, it's came up time for these two little witch bitches who thought they had a wonderful idea to try to put you in some type of doubt mindset. They thought they was going to be able to. So somebody, what's so fucking crazy about this shit is somebody really thought it was a wonderful idea to like make you doubt yourself thinking that if you doubt yourself, they can overstep your boundaries. They could dominate you. This is what this person was out here learning. Drama. Glamour magic. And it's all because you was being true to yourself, making time for spirit. <laughs> make it make sense. This is sick. Like, for, for real. And that's why what goes around is coming back around. And it's cleanup time for these two little witches. Period. The natural world needs you. Yeah. We got, it's time for you to have a treat. Count your blessings. And I got one more. And then we got distorted view in the reverse. So what's so crazy is these three cards came out all in reverse. Yeah. And they all came out in the reverse because <laughs> whoever these people were that returned to your life that was from your past, this could have been your family. This could have been an ex. This could have been an old friend you grew up with. This could have been a, a, a crush, a, a childhood sweetheart. It's like, you remove your mask, but whoever this is steady kept moving forward with the mask. Yeah, they steady kept moving forward with that mask. Okay? Somebody was, like I said, like, whoever this is, this does not have to be an ex. This could be a family member, a friend. Somebody was, like, literally holding on to your fucking energy for their life. Like, this is why you want to know why somebody keeps showing up in your ear eating. It's because they hold a note of your energy for dear life. Strangely lonely. Trying to cause collisions and shit in your motherfucking life. Like, this is why this person's energy keeps showing up. It's because it's not time for them to have the treat. They don't have any blessings to count. And your view is no longer distorted about this person. You see this person clearly. Somebody tried to distort your view. We're getting you. Mama, I told you in the beginning, I said this with this glamour and tree drama. This could have been somebody who you was going to their parties. You was turning up with them. Y'all was getting drunk. You no longer drink with these people no more. You see them for who the fuck they really are. And <laughs> so, yeah, they can't count their pleasance and they would not have a tree. And it's because they were strangely holding on to your energy. These are people from your fucking past that was doing voodoo on you. <laughs> they was doing voodoo on you. This bitch could even have a voodoo doll on you. Fucking with your heart chakra. Look at it. Somebody had a voodoo doll. And they were targeting your heart chakra. Yeah. They thought they had a clear solution. But that shit transitioned to the spiritual realm. Yeah. This is why they can't count their blessings. This is why they would not. What does it say? This is why it's not time for them to have a tree. It's because their view was distorted. But your view wasn't. And somebody was really out here doing voodoo. It had flipped around again, so that's why I had to put it out. But somebody was really live out here doing voodoo. Well, they got a voodoo doll on you, bruh. And it was targeting your heart chakra. This person's favorite color could be blue. I'm also getting that with this blue color, they also possibly tried to shut you up. This is somebody who tried to make you, you know, care about them. They tried to even bind your heart is what I'm hearing as well. Hey. People just be crazy nowadays, Scorpio. You got to watch out. Yeah. 
somebody, whoever this coach was, they was out this bitch pretending, being deceptive than the bitch, not even being consistent. One minute they want to do some coach shit, the next minute they don't. Yeah, somebody was wearing a mask, and now they hesitant, because you still got inner peace, you're still able to relax, luck is on your side. Look at this shit. Whoever this was that was trying to dominate you, look at them now. They want to compromise with you now. <laughs> why, why you want to compromise now? This is sick. Somebody was really out here, what it says, pretending, inconsistent, deception, exactly. They ain't no wish mask to put on. Why is mask here? For Scorpio? Yeah, this bully and their fucking friends who was out here networking, trying to put unwanted attention on you. And this could have been because of a soulmate connection you was in. You know, this could have been a connection that you had with yourself. Don't get it twisted, because you ain't got to be in a relationship. This could be you that's at one with yourself. Or this could be how, you know, somebody like you. Somebody see you as their soulmate. And somebody is out here trying to protest you. These friends and a bully who was wearing a mask. They was being arrogant. They didn't want to listen. Being stubborn. Yep. So somebody set this goal because they was being stubborn. They were being arrogant. This is somebody who was selfish. Yeah. And they was wishing on your downfall. Yep. And these three bitches thought it was funny. I'm saying that it was these three bitches' idea. <laughs> yep. I'm saying that somebody is hesitant now. Whoever this old-ass couple is, it is because they're going to be in danger. And it's because you lived and learned a lesson. I'm saying that somebody thought that you was lonely. You was out here dull and isolated. And it's because they was putting shit in your drink. Now they scared. Because somebody is furious that you were able to hold back. Or that you was able to save some money. Yeah, because they was out here creating an illusion. I'm also saying that somebody is mad because they feel like they should have saved something. They should have saved some money. Because something was an illusion. Something was a fucking brag. And now they're feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, I'm saying that you are inner. You have this inner peace. You're calm. And it's because you meditate. <laughs> Again, you go within to get the answers. Yeah, it's because of a gift you have that somebody is feeling as though they're suffering. They're being persecuted. But that's karma. Now somebody feeling awkward because they couldn't see the whole time. Now they stress the fuck out, feeling pressure, having lack of sleep. Because somebody was out this bitch coaching somebody to be strategic or this the coach. I'm also getting the coach strategy. So, whoever that was in head that was teaching everybody how to play these mind games, this is the motherfucker who was trying to rob you of being a fortune teller. And it was for gain. So, somebody thought that they could... Listen to what I'm saying. Somebody thought that their mind games was going to be a reader. Um, at the... Okay. This is the funny part. Uh, when you play mind games... It, it gets draining. It gets irritating. Everybody starts to pay attention. When you read, you get confirmation. People be like, oh my God, yes. So why in the hell would you try to do mind games on a reader? That is stupid. And somebody was playing mind games to rob you of your fortune teller. Yeah, they did it for game. This could be somebody that's into real estate. Now this bitch is binded to being rejected while you receive good news. So somebody could be into real estate. Or this could be somebody that works into some real estate. If you were in real estate, this is somebody that works with you. Mm. They tried to bind you to get you rejected. And it was all for gain. Because they wanted to be a fortune teller. They wanted to rob you of it by playing mind games. Mm. Why is relaxation here? Yeah, I'm saying that you have peace. And it's because you are a merit-making person. You're very humble. You have a good side. It's like you always... Find a way to be compassionate, even though you have shit going on in your own life. Yeah, and somebody thought they was going to be able to, like, control you, dominate you. This is why they create all of this. And it's because they were desiring your self-love energy. They wanted you to stop. So somebody wanted you to stop being in this self-love energy, independent energy. Mm -hmm. Now somebody got evidence that you was, you know, victorious over some type of illusion they created. This person lost, and now they're going to be homeless. For trying to be your third world enemy. Meanwhile, you're going to be stable. And it's because somebody was being arrogant. Trying to set these goals. To pray over your downfall. This was a whole family that took this motherfucking risk. But I'm saying that you separated yourself from this community. 
and they could be trying to travel towards you and they pride and ego. And I'm saying that somebody is feeling overwhelmed by your blessings and it's because they're cursed for causing this conflict because they was collaborating to cause you some type of disturbance, supernatural disturbance in the past. Yeah, this is the person that's responsible. So there is a couple that's responsible. This could have been a couple who you and your person was watching after their kid, their baby. I'm saying that you persevered this shit. Now this man that was in the middle of this shit could be wanting to try to compromise something with you and this girl now. But something was a trap. Like somebody thought that they could lure you because of what you do for work. But luck was on you and your person's side. Why is luck here? Yeah. Luck is on you and your person's side. You're having sweet dreams. You're satisfied. Yeah, with this sweet love. And it's because whatever you do for work, you are professional. And somebody else is sick. And they need your help and aid. Because they was the one who arranged all this. Now they could be facing jail time or they could be locked up. The one who came up with this idea was these three bitches. And they thought that these bitches was of an alliance. Now they want to apologize. Because they did magic on you for good news. Yeah. And somebody tried to plan your death. Somebody tried to plan your death. Thinking it was going to get good news. We're doing this magic. Now they want to apologize. Because they realized that you was of alliance. These three bitches who came up with this idea is going to be in purgatory. Because they're the ones who arranged this shit. Now they need your help and aid. Because they're sick. Okay? Because of what you do for work. You could be pure hard at it. Very satisfied with it. And luck is on your side with it. So, I mean, do we got to explain more? People are just jealous that you actually kept going. Even though you had people out here attacking you. <laughs> like, look at it. It's so crazy. The first card is cutting ties. Timing. So you cut ties in perfect timing. You could have been given a, a, a gesture. Okay. And now, good luck is on your side. Definitely when it comes to your investment, investments. And it's because of your flexibility and your direction. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, it says you could be in a very, you know, sensual connection. It's like very bomb. It's like you and somebody bond is like off the chart. And somebody wanted you to chase them. This is why they was trying to be silent on you. This could be somebody from fucking New York. This person just want to have a brand new beginning with you because they are in pain. Somebody is realizing how important something really is and they're bitter now. Somebody is bitter than a bitch about your peace and about you walking away from a soulmate from your past. So this is a soulmate from your past that's longing for you full. They're having a breaking point and it's because you released them. And you change your perspective. Yes, you're definitely in this divine feminine energy. And you could be dealing with your twin flame. Yeah, you're realizing that you're dealing with your twin flame. Your twin flame is somebody that you're dealing with now. This person is loyal. Alright? But your soulmate is mad. Okay? Your, your soulmate mad. Because you dodged a bullet from a spiritual hater. Who is crying over you. Because they're fucking carless. <laughs> and they're carless because they ain't shit. Somebody also is about to have child services problems. This could be somebody that you had a romantic love affair with. This person, this person is hating on you though. Your light is irritating this person's demon. This could have been somebody who you was in a romantic love affair with. This person could even be trying to go to child services and all this shit. Like you ain't shit. And it's all because you dodged the bullet from this spiritual hater. This is somebody who hates on your spirituality, your light, your magic, your power. Somebody is hating on your light. Period. They hating on your shine. But got the nerve to be trying to cry over you. Like I said, you gonna know who this is because they carless. You gonna know exactly who they is because they fucking carless. So why is dodging bullets here? For Scorpio? Yeah, you dodged the bullet, boo. You really did. Yeah, four of pentacles. By holding back, star card and healing. Fool and going down a brand new journey. Knight of Wands. I'm saying that you had the motherfucking confidence and the passion to move forward. Hermit. And it's because you took some time to go within. In solitude. Isolate. 
and actually see, you know, what it is that I really want to do. And that's the motherfucking truth. You made a practical decision with that page of pentacles. Why is spiritual hater here? What is this spiritual hater for Scorpio? This spiritual hater is a queen of wands, an Aries, Leo, a Sag. This person is having anxiety right along with this king of pentacles. Because they thought they was going to get good news with their lover. So this is a couple. A Aries. I'm getting Aries with this too. And a Virgo with that nine. This is a couple who had a selfish wish to slow up your finances. And they didn't want to give up with that nine of wands. Why is crying over you? Now they sad, hurt. Yeah, three of wands. What I tell you? This is an Aries that's at a distance from you. They could be planning page of pentacles to try to like come up with the idea ten of swords to betray you yeah somebody is trying to come up with a plan in aries gemini these are people at a distance from you they want to ruin you defeat you okay overthrow you but with this eight of wands in reverse <laughs> something is going to backfire on their ass and they're going to be the ones that's delayed this could be a sagittarius capricorn yeah, somebody is jealous of you. And they're untrustworthy. This Gemini, Sagittarius, and Aries. They're jealous of you. And they're all working together. Page of Swords spying on you. And they're going to be exposed. Because you are a high priestess. And you are possible to reflect and see something from a different perspective. And you're realizing that somebody is a liar. And they could be trying to steal money from you. To be in this nine of pentacles energy. Oh, this person missed the opportunity. And it's because you've already closed out this time and cycle. And then this person is crying over spilled milk with that fab of pentacles. I mean, that fab of cups. Why is Carlos here? Yeah, somebody car is about to be repoed. They're about to have car issues. Yeah, Emperor. This could be a masculine energy. And it's because they're in the judgment. Seven of pentacles for what they was investing in. Two of swords trying to cause you a stalemate, trying to blind you of the truth, the world. Yeah, of your destiny, of your, this is somebody who tried to cause a stalemate to your destiny. And then they're getting karma with the justice. And we got a queen of pentacles and a king of wands here who was out here celebrating. But with the tower being here, I'm saying that, um, this, these are third parties that you were celebrating with. A Aries, Leo, a Sag, masculine, and a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, feminine. These are people you would turn it up with. They built some type of weak foundation with the tower in reverse, trying to avoid some shit, and now they're trapped. Seven of Wands, they're being blocked as well. Five of Wands for causing this conflict amongst a group of people, and it's because they was jealous. Yeah, trying to cause you struggles. These people were bold to compete with you because you weren't. To take life as it comes. <laughs> yeah. And now you're in this empress energy. Yep. You're happy with your results. And of the actions you took. Two of wands. Yeah. Whatever whatever path you chose. Six of wands. You're getting victory and success. Magician. I'm saying that you manifested this. Earth angel. I'm saying the divine loves you unconditionally. This is why somebody is heartbroken. This is why they wanted to call you an imbalance. Whoever this king of cups is. Why is eight shit here? Yeah, somebody ain't shit. Four of swords, this is why you need to lay something to rest. Five of swords, because somebody could be trying to test your scrimp here. Page of cups, they only want to apologize. Six of cups for what they did in the past. Eight of pentacles, because you still message yourself. Hierophant, and now you could be of a status. Nine of cups, and you still got a gaslighting. Ten of pentacles, family. Death card, they're trying to end something from you. Six of pentacles, some type of equal give and take. Ace of wands, so they damn can of magic. Two of cups on your partnership. Knight of Swords thinking they could come towards you. Three of Swords to hurt you. Two of Pentacles, you're too balanced. And this King of Cups is. So, you and your person, or I'm talking to you masculine and to you feminine, y'all too balanced, bro. <laughs> y'all are upright. Five of Pentacles in reverse, y'all being, look, bro, you too determined. Mm -hmm. And you're recovering. And you're regaining any type of money that you lost. Five of Cups, and somebody's in regret. Six of Swords, because you're moving on. Nine of Wands, and you didn't give up on yourself. Moon card, just because somebody was creating an illusion. Why was Child Services here? Yeah, with the Scrimp card, you could be going through Child Services with a Leo. Four of Wands, and it's because you're stable. Moon card, yeah, that somebody is wanting to create some type of illusion. 
Ten of Wands to cause you a heavy burden. Ten of Cups to your partnership. But with the Seven of Cups, this is a fucking illusion. King of Swords, you need to make a head of a heart decision. Chariot, with a Cancer, Queen of Swords. You also got a Gemini here. This person could be facing jail time. And they're going to have to walk away. Or somebody's going to jail. This is the only reason how somebody's going to be able to walk away. Or some shit like that. But yeah, somebody's going through child services now. This could be somebody that you was in a romantic love affair with. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Why is romantic love affair here? Sex bitch. Yeah. With the death card in reverse. Yeah, somebody don't want to let you go. Four of wands. This could be a twin flame. Okay. Scrim card in reverse that's weak. This is somebody that is... A bitch made nigga. When I see the script card reverse, and if this is a Leo, this is somebody that even put their hands on you and shit. This is a weak ass nigga. They don't want to end a relationship with you. Nine of Wands, look, they don't want to end a relationship with you, but you're moving on. And now they're sad and regret. Because this King of Cups, Five of Pentacles in reverse, is not leaving you out in the not leaving you out in the cold. They're coming with you. Yeah, temperance. And they're gonna bring something in balance with you. Like, somebody really thought that they had the whole world in their hands. Bitch, you got your own life in your hands. You got to be careful. Yeah, why shine here? Your light was irritating the bitch demons. Yeah. Five of cups in reverse. And it's because you was accepting shit. You was having hope. You was forgiving people. You had gratitude. You were being kind. You also got a new alliance that's coming towards you. And it's because you recovered. Two of pentacles. And because you was able to balance out something. Three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken. Six of Pentacles, because they wanted to take something from you. Queen of Cups, Four of Swords, and they something to rest for you. Seven of Pentacles, this is what they was plotting on. This Queen of Swords. Yeah, this could be a Gemini. Yeah, and then they're going to have to walk away, because you got victory and success over this King of Swords, who was out here creating illusions to your in-laws or to your family. Yeah, something was too hard for them to do, because it was an illusion that this Gemini thought they could do. They thought they could come in and rush towards you and your partner and take some type of action. Yeah, you and your person already moved on. Y'all do not give a fuck about what these people got going on. Somebody weird in the bitch. We, like, no. They weird. They weird. Somebody wants this King of Cups to leave you out in the cold. Or King of Cups, somebody wants you to be going through poverty. They want, King of Cups, they want you to be insecure. They want you going through hardship, poverty, loss of money, or a position. They want you to go through toes, harshness. They want you to be in need, lack of resources. This person is weird as a bitch. But with the temperance, she was able to bring something into balance. Magician. And you know, it's because you actually had all the tools you needed. Six of wands. And then somebody got to give you your flowers. Two of wands because of the path you chose. Like, somebody weird as hell. And they ain't got to give you your flowers. You don't need their dusty ass flowers. You don't. Let this person be where the fuck they at. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, like I said, nine of cups, knight of cups. I mean, nine of cups, knight of swords. This is a Pisces Gemini. It was somebody's wish fulfillment to like charge at you because they thought it was a super saver. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, with the seven of cups, somebody was in an illusion. Nine of wands. I'm saying that you are very determined. You could have been going through an ongoing battle with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, or an Aquarius. Yeah, somebody was like this bitch lying on you. This could have been a whole friends group. Now they want to apologize. Definitely this Queen of Pentacles. Because they thought that they could take something from you. But you've had a brand new beginning elsewhere. Why is this Seven of Cups here? Yeah, I'm saying that. Somebody wanted you to be in some type of illusion so that you could procrastinate. Somebody wanted you to, like, for real. Yeah, but with this Four of Cups coming out in the reverse, my bad, y'all. With this four of cups coming out in reverse with the ace of wands, somebody missed, bro. Somebody missed the opportunity because you changed your perspective. The four of cups in reverse is talking about you taking opportunities to let go of regret. You know, you ending stagnation. You being motivated. This is what the four of cups did. Somebody really had you fucked up, Scorpio. Ace of wands, somebody thought they took your passion away. Because they created this illusion. They thought you was going to be procrastinating. Somebody really had you fucked up, yo. Yeah, Paige of Swords, and they was watching to see if the shit was working. Girl, boy, why is this not a one here? Yes, a Sagittarius and a Taurus. They wanted you to conform to them. Because they felt as though, hold on. Yep, they felt as though 
they was gonna get victory and success. But something backfired. And that's the motherfucking truth. So yeah, you got a Sagittarius and a Taurus here who you had an ongoing battle with. And it's because you was getting public recognition. You was getting your flowers. You know what I'm saying? That there's chaos happening now. Destruction. Some type of sudden upheaval. Some type of, some type of disaster loss. Something is being revealed. This can also be a divorce that's going on with these people. Yeah, but the Ace of Swords, that's the fucking truth. Seven of Swords, because somebody was out here being deceptive. Lying on you. Stealing from you. Yeah. With the fool, somebody thought that you was going to have a brand new beginning with them. Two of Swords, but somebody was sad and mistaken. They didn't see this coming. The Sun card, them being exposed. Eight of Pentacles, because you mastered yourself. Queen of Cups. Two of Cups. Yeah. I'm saying that you work very hard, Queen of Cups, to be in a partnership. And now somebody is going through sleepless nights of anxiety. Well, you work very hard on yourself to be prepared for a partnership. <laughs> Why is the Three of Cups here? Yeah, you got friends here that's wanting to reunite with you and shit. Yeah. There could be like a baby shower coming up. Some type of festival. Some type of gathering. Yeah. And these people, yeah, these people, these friends are having some type of gathering. And they're in fear, having anxiety. Two of Pentacles, because you balanced out something. Eight of Cups and walked away. Two of Wands, this was the path you chose. Knight of Swords, even though somebody tried to come in and attack you. King of Swords, you made a head over heart decision. So this could have been a Pisces that tried to attack you. Uh, a Pisces, Aquarius, Cusp. Yeah, this person tried to attack you. Or Aquarius, Pisces, Cusp. Yeah, this person tried to attack you over he say, she say. And because you chose the path, I'm also hearing you could be this king of swords, knight of swords. You made some type of big change by making a head over heart decision. And you see some type of opportunity. Two of wands, this is the path. <laughs> Somebody is mad that you bossed the fuck up. They thought, they, they thought that because they was out here tag teaming in groups that you was going to stop. Bitch, <laughs> you was a Scorpio. <laughs> Yeah, with the page of cups, somebody want to apologize. There's also a child here that feels left out in the cold. Okay. Or somebody wanted you and your child to struggle with this page of cups. Five of pentacles. Three of pentacles. This was a group of people. These people was working with a king of cups who was obsessed with you and a queen of swords. Who wanted to block you and a queen of wands and their lover thought they was gonna get good news but karma is here and they're heartbroken bruh they're heartbroken about this betrayal that this pisces and gemini did because this scorpio is in hell of regret about this king of pentacles yeah i'm saying that somebody is heartbroken because somebody loves you unconditionally and you had a Pisces who thought that some type of magic they was doing in secret <laughs> was going to have you, like, abandoned by your masculine. Yeah, somebody was heavily invested in this. Yeah, of you being ghosted. This could have been a Virgo. Yeah, they wanted to take something from you, Empress. So somebody wanted to be seen as an Empress just like you. This could have been a Taurus with this Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and this Empress. Something became too hard for this Taurus and Sagittarius to do. And then they got to lay something to rest because they're getting karma. Definitely when it comes to a money situation. I'm saying that you was able to close out a karmic cycle. And you got a king of wands still coming up with plans. Okay. I'm also seeing that there is a king of wands that is wanting to have a solid new beginning with you. This could have been somebody that you've already closed out a karmic cycle with. I'm saying that this person is finding out the truth. Ten of Cups about a family member or about somebody who they have a family with. And this person could be, you know, trying to develop the strength, the carriage, death card to end this partnership. But with the hangman, this person feels, you know, stuck, trapped, limited. But with the Ten of Wands, with the Eight of Wands, it's projections that got this person feeling stuck. Three of Wands, this is somebody that's at a distance from you. Okay. I'm also seeing that somebody wanted to sabotage you with projections because they seen that you had success coming towards you. Six of swords because you moved on. Five of wands from conflict. Six of cups in the past. Yeah, now somebody is under fucking judgment because you've healed. 
Yeah, and you defeated somebody. Now they're mentally stuck and trapped. Because you have a solid foundation. You got the Ten of Pentacles. And it's because you held back and listened to your intuition from this Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. Or, shit, it could be anything. It could be a Libra, Sagittarius, Gemini. Yeah, you held back from this spire. I'm also saying that somebody took up an impulsive ass action to delay a message. But with the chariot, you still got victory and success, temperance, and you were still able to balance out something. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm saying that you are very prosperous. You have financial stability. You have security. You're independent. Yeah, and you're making just boss moves. Nine of Cups, your wishes is coming in. Nine of Pentacles. And it's like, it's because you're practical and loyal and responsible. This is why you're in the Nine of Pentacles. This is why you're in the Nine of Cups. It's because you prioritize things. It's like, yeah, you could be a little bit stubborn, but you're also ambitious and a hard worker. This is why you're able to profit. This is why you're able to finish what you start. And it's because you're loyal. You, you stay consistent. You stay focused on what the goal is. It's just that simple. Hey, fool. So, yeah. These are bitches that... <laughs> this is... I heard... This is somebody that's mad because you're consistent and they have to pretend. Like, that's what it is. Yeah, this could be somebody that goes out 3 a.m. to meet demons. Yeah, they're doing sex magic. It's a sex magic being done. They get in common right as we speak. Your ancestors aren't playing with them. It says, if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, then it's a motherfucking duck. You ain't boo-boo the fool. You want the money. Yeah, we got God gives you energy. Yeah, it says use bay leaves and lavender. We got Memphis, Tennessee. We also got doesn't believe in God, but believes in the devil. We also got practice what you preach. Don't become a victim. We also have focused on you. They want you to be looking at them. They're the past though. Fuck them. We got needs your help, but know they can't call you. And it's because they're backstabbers. Let's get a missing out who was fucking on the ops. The spell work backfired. And that's just that. So let's see. Hmm. Who did this spell work? And why did it backfire? Who did this spell work? A Pisces did this spell work, and a Taurus, and a Virgo, and a Scorpio in the past. So you got four people. We got a Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, and a Pisces. With the Knight of Cups in reverse, these are people who are manipulative. They are reliable. They fickle, moody, idle, and sensual. These people are untruthful. And with the Page of Cups, they want to come and apologize, but... Mm -mm. They only come in to be sweet on you, and it's because they're testing your strength. Eh, 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 eh. This is somebody who has some type of resentment. Six of swords, and it's because you moved on. Nine of wands, and you ain't give up on yourself. Strength card. This is somebody who thought you was weak. This is somebody who's petty. Four of wands. This could be a couple that was trying to test your strength, or something could have happened at home. Well, like these four people tried to test your strength, but the spell work backfired. Hmm. Why is need your help but can't? Because they backstab us. Yeah. With the four of pentacles, five of cups, somebody was holding on too tight. And they cannot stop you from moving forward. <laughs> With the five of cups, somebody is in grief. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Wands, because of the action they took, two of cups in a partnership, Knight of Swords to attack you, Moon card in secret, to the wands, something became too hard for this Pisces, Sagittarius, <laughs> let me see, Scorpio, Cancer, Gemini, to do, what we got, yeah, Eight of Wands reverse. something is backfiring, fast, 